Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my series of updated for 2024 Beginner's Guides to Modding Daisy PC Community Servers and in this one we're going to be looking at how to install the absolutely amazing Dr. Jones Trader Mod which if you didn't know about it already <laughs> it can totally transform the gameplay on your server by adding a trader economy with money so the idea is you can come here and you can sell things that you find and then you can buy things, um, vehicles, um, clothes, weapons, all that sort of stuff. is absolutely marvellous and has transformed Daisy on PC um, and hopefully one day we'll get it on console as well. But let me just jump out of here and just remind everybody that, here we go, that this is a series of videos and so if you come to this one randomly in the description below this video you'll find a link to this playlist which is all of the videos kind of in order and also a previous and next link because i'm trying to record them in some sort of order where each video builds on the knowledge of the next one you'll also find a link to the console version of these obviously not a console version of the trader mod um, but console community server modding so first things first of course like everything to do with uh, pc steam mods you've got to go to steam so fire up the steam client or go to steam on the uh, website on the on the web i'll put a link in the description below this video and you want to subscribe no dependencies for this one um, and there's also some really good instructions underneath that tell you how to install it and hopefully i'll remember to go through all of these um, and when you fire up the launcher it will then download the mod um, and I tell you what we'll do let's just exit out of here so we can have a look at the launcher because I just want to go into the mod and just show you kind of what it comes with so if you ever want to find out where your mods are click on any any mod in the launcher it doesn't really matter click on the three dots open folder in Windows Explorer and we'll this would be it so now what we can do is we can go to trader let's have a look inside so we get the add-ons which is the pbo's the bit that actually do the heavy lifting we get the key that we need to add to the key folder on our server and then we get the extras um, and in the extras we get the types so if we open this up with notepad plus plus what we can see is this involves a wallet and some money as well whenever you get a mod that introduces extra things into the game there will always be or there should always be some sort of types entry because without a types entry, the server doesn't really know how long this thing should hang around on the server for, and things will simply disappear. So on restart. So for example, the money, the rubles that we want to add, if we didn't add the types to our types to XML, um, then those things would disappear on server restarts. Now, of course, when you get more advanced, the way that you're going to add the types to your server isn't necessarily just by copying and pasting them into your types.xml, okay? But we do this in these Beginner's Guys videos because it's the easiest way to kind of learn and it keeps things simple. Also, we get, if we go up again, we get this folder here, the trader folder. And we're going to we're going to copy this to the config or the profiles folder on our server. And this has all of the variables that control things like what buildings are at the trader um, how much do things cost what parts go with other parts so for example with trader vehicle parts that tells the, the trader at, um, mod how to build a car that sort of thing and you've got trader admins so who can be a trader as well very powerful um file this as you can see we can change prices and we can add things into here as well so sometimes you'll find that when you subscribe to a mod in the extras section they might have a trader bit as well well they'll, they'll have the uh, class names of things and they'll have the prices of them as of the prices of them as well so you can add them in here so that's very cool uh, the fact that we can do that as well so we need to make sure that all of these things are on our server um, for it to work as always make sure you do read through the instructions and visit any discords and take a note of any warnings and any things like that that are in the description down here because that will help you lots of um, trouble if something doesn't seem to work so what we're going to do we're going to fire fire up our ftp program in this example it's filezilla and there's a previous video that shows you how to install it if you haven't uh, if you're not familiar with it file site manager one bg one beginner's guide is the one i'm going to work on so we're just going to connect here 
that's all connected and we click on daisy standalone and we're just going to open that up by clicking on the plus now to get to our workshop folder which we've already been if you left click up here in this section we can then right click this address and then we can oop we don't go there do we go back to filezilla left click here right click there paste press enter and there we go we're in the workshop um, now i've already uploaded this but we're going to do it again so we're going to scroll down and we're just going to click on right click and then upload and that will then upload here to the trader which is cool and then we're just going to carefully open the trader here um, and there's the key so we're just going to click on click on keys there so there's the key and then on, on our server we're going to scroll down and we're just going to open up the keys there and then we're going to right click upload and the daisy trader by key will come over there so that's pretty cool now i'm going to show you a nice little trick you can do now to add the types um to uh, your mission folder as well so what we gonna do now is we're going to scroll down on the server and we're just going to click on mp missions and we're going to click on daisy offline dot sorry we're going to press on the plus next to mp missions click on daisy offline dot plus click on the plus there we're going to open the db directory and we're going to right click on the types here and we're going to go view edit this will then download it and it may well ask you what program do you want to open this up with um, the first time you do it um, as you can see so that's now opened up so what we have now is as you can see we now have our types that XML so if we go back to our trader uh, in our workshop folder and just go into the types and open that up there it is what you can now do is you can just copy and paste not the top bit don't do the top types just copy the top bit down here down to there not the bottom type so you would copy that Go to the type that XML we've just downloaded and then um, copy and paste it in at the top of your type that XML file. So underneath types, put a couple of spaces, and then paste it. As you can see, I've already done it here. What you can do as well, if you do left arrow bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and then type trader space types, then do dash, dash, right arrow bracket, that will then give you a little remark that you can read, just so you know what it is. So there's end of trader types. Underneath there's much stuff pack. And I'll repeat again, copying and pasting extra type snippets for particular mods isn't the best way to add types in. The best way is to, to refer to it in the economy.xml, I think it is, and add it in. And I may cover that in a different video, we'll see. But for now, it's a nice easy way of doing it, it's just copying and pasting um, these extra bits into the type because it simply works. So once we've done that, if we save that, and then you go back to FileZilla, it will say, that file's changed. Do you want me to upload it? And you say, yes, please, and it'll upload it. Now, you have to be careful with this because there is one step that we've missed out, and that is validation because we haven't validated this file. So maybe sometimes you'd be better off downloading it via your uh, web browser um, than, than doing anything like this. But when you get more familiar with things, you can kind of do it like that. So we've done that. Now, the other thing we've got to do, as we said, is we need to add this trader section here, this trader folder, into the config. Now, on Nitrado servers, um, the, the folder that contains the various settings for different mobs is called config. On other servers, it might be called profiles, it might be called settings, or something like that. Generally, the clue to what it is, it'll have the names of mods in it, but they won't have the little at sign next to them. So you go to... Um, Click on left click on config, right config, <laughs> left click on config, um, left click on trader, right click upload, and that will then upload to there. And as you can see, there's all the settings there. So if we wanted to go in and change certain settings, you could do it here, or you could go into your file browser and, and change it there. So at this point, we've uploaded the mod with all the PBOs, we've uploaded the key into the key folder, we've uploaded uh, the trader uh, config into the config folder and we've added the types uh, section to our types.xml but we're not quite finished yet remember with mods there's always that extra little thing you've got to do and the extra thing we've got to do is on our daisy dashboard in our server we need to go to server settings general and we need to scroll down and in the additional mod section we need to add after the last mod we've done semicolon then at capital t raider so at trader like that because remember this line 
is the command to the server to say, look, when you restart, you're going to start with the trader mod. So please do that. So if you are running a standalone box where you have access to the .bat file, in fact, the .bat file, the Windows batch file, the thing that starts your server is something you do have to edit. Um, th this will be in the start line and it will say mods equals and then you'll have all your, your additional mods to do that. On Nitrado, we don't have direct access to that file, so they put it into the general settings there. So once we've done that, we hit restart server, and uh, there we go, that will do. And then your, your um, players can spawn in. There is one more thing we have to do that I almost forgot about. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. But I added this to make sure that I remembered. So... One of the traders is at Green Mountain. The other one, he says, because he can't remember where the other one is. The other one is down somewhere else. This is going. I'm going to be really unprofessional now because I can't remember where the other trader is. You think it would say at the top, wouldn't you? There we go. Trader, trader. Oh, Kamerna. Yes, there we go. It was at the t tip of my tongue. However, the problem is. Um, the trader at Green Mountain is subject to a chemical strike. So we need to get rid of that chemical strike. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our server and we're going to jump into the file browser. And we're going to Daisy Standalone. And we're going to go into MP Missions. We're going to Daisy Offline Dutch Chinris Plus. And we're going to do this on the server. Uh, if you, we can do it on the server. No, let's download it. Let's do it the best way. Because I always say you should really download it. So we down, we've downloaded it to our downloads file. There it is, CFG event spawn. So we're going to right click. We're going to edit it with Notepad. And what I want you to do is scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down. Keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. So you get to static contaminated area. And then I want you to stop when you get to the one that says pos x equals 3710.00000 and then z equals 5993 because this is where Green Mountain is. And then what I want you to do is to the left of it, I want you to put left arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash and then to the right of it, I want you to put a couple of spaces in and write green space mountain space dash dash right arrow. And what that will do, that will then comment out that particular chem artillery strike. So Green Mountain will no longer be be zapped. And I'm pretty sure Comerno doesn't have one. Um, let's just make sure. Let's right click, copy, go to Eyes of Ive, Comerno. Uh, where was it? Is there Comerno? There we are. Yeah, Comerno doesn't doesn't have an artillery strike, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so once we've done that, hit the save button, go back to your server, go to upload file, go to your downloads, click on that one, say open, that will re-upload it, and then restart your server again, apologies we had to do that, I almost forgot about that, and then you will have the most excellent trader uh, available to play around. Now, it may well be tempting to dive in and start changing things like prices and, and things like that, but I would say leave everything as, as it is at the moment. Also, I would say leave it so that the um, the money is, isn't is available in the world. Um, I just have it so that the, the money is only available from the trader. So all the money has gone from the world, and the only way that you can get money is off the traders by selling stuff. So you've got to go around the world and you've got to find things and you've got to think, okay, so if I find this and give this to the traders and sell it to them, I will get money back. And you can do it like that. When you start feeling a bit more confident with your modding, by all means, what you can do is you can add a nominal. So money ruble five, you could have a nominal of say 10, a minimum of five, and they'll spawn in the real world then. Or perhaps a little bit better would be going to your CFG spawnable types and add money to things like zombies. Um, that's a little bit more complicated though because you do have to go into um, random pre CFG random presets to do that sometimes. 
Um, but I would say to start off with, don't have money spawning in the world, or if you do, don't have much of it. Keep the nominals really, really low, so that the players in your servers can't just run around and loot and get money, and then run to the trader and get a blaze with a scope and a load of ammo, and then be able to dominate the uh, the PvP side of things. Okay, so hopefully this will have been a useful video. Many thanks to Dr. Jones who started this, the mod, and Helkiana and MDC who are now looking after it um, with the continued maintenance. Absolutely fantastic. Love having a trader. Can't wait till we get a trader on uh, console. Obviously, you don't want a trader on all servers. It's not always suitable. But it definitely adds that extra little bit of flavour and that different gameplay mechanic, that different gameplay loop. That I think uh, is fabulous. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.